Welcome! I'm going to show you how to edit the glossy black mug mockup in Photopea. So first go to photopea.com in any web browser. And then you just click open from computer to open the mockup. And I already have it open in this tab right here. So once it's open, you're going to be working in the layers panel. Um, if you don't see the layers panel, just click on window. and then click on layers to bring it up. And once it's up, just click the arrow icon next to the black mug layer, and that'll expand that layer group. And then click the arrow next to the black mug layer with the mask. And then once those two layer groups are expanded, you'll see this design-mug layer. Just double click the thumbnail icon in the design-mug layer, and that'll open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. And then once the smart object opens, just go to File, Open. And then find your design off the computer. And then go to Select, All. And then Edit, Copy. and then click back on this Smart Object tab here and go to Edit, Paste. And once that pastes it in, um, you might need to resize it. If you do, just go to Edit, Free Transform. And just click on one of the corners and drag to size it up or down. And then once you think you've got it about the right size, just click on the image and kind of drag it into place. And then save the smart object by going to File, Save Smart Object. And it's going to think for a few seconds and then it'll let you know when it updates. There you go, now it said Smart Object Updated. So once it does that, we can just click the X here to close the Smart Object. And you can click the X to close the original graphics. And you'll see it put it on the mug for us just like that. And there are some subtle uh, highlights and shading over the design. So if you want to adjust that, you could click the eye icon here to turn the shading off. And it shows up more of, say, you have a background behind your design. Or you could also click on the shading-mug layer and click the down arrow next to opacity and drag the slider to the left to make the effect a little more subtle. And you can adjust the lightness and darkness of the shadows underneath the mug. To do that, just click the arrow next to the shadows under mug layer, <clears throat> and then click one of the shadows, and then just click the down arrow next to opacity, and drag the slider to the left to make the shadow darker, or the right, the left to make it lighter, or the right to make it darker. You can also add your own background. To do that, just go to File, Open. and then just find a background image off your computer. And we're just going to copy and paste it into the mockup. So we'll go to Select All, and then Edit, Copy. And then we'll click back on the mockup and go to Edit, Paste. Alright, and once that pastes in, it might uh, paste in front of the other layers. If that happens, just click on the background layer 
and drag it underneath the other layers. And then I'm going to turn off the backgrounds layer by clicking the eye icon next to it. You'll see it added the background that easily. And then if you're going to use this online as a thumbnail on a website like Etsy, you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. So to do that, just go to File, and it's going to let me click File, Export, um, when it decides to cooperate. Yeah, File, Export As, and then click JPEG. And then after you've done that, if you wanted to save a layered PSD, you could come back here a second time and then just click File, Save as PSD. And please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you and have a great day.